Um, what would you say the first app you open on your phone in the morning? The first app I open on my phone in the morning is definitely Facebook. Uh, my family and friends had a, a bit of a mixed reaction. Uh, my grandma, like I said, was the person that was extremely supportive. She paid for my first studio session and my and my first production. And a couple of my friends questioned it a bit, thought it, it was some sort of a unreachable goal or unfathomable kind of dream. So I would say there was definitely a mixed reaction. The hardest part is in being having your own brand. The hardest part is all of the heart, all of the work behind the scenes, the daily grind of making the operation work. When did you sit down and prepare your Oh, okay, uh, there was it was it came in stages. The first stage and the foundation was laid in 1994. The second stage, which was uh, the formulation of Leo Dragon Eagle Records LLC, happened in 2001, and then Indigenous Warrior Enterprise was conceived in. November of 2014. Did you go by a nickname that you never go by now? Yep, the Cookie Monster. <laughs> That's funny. What advice would you have for your 13 year old self? Pray and believe. How would you describe your 13 year old self in three words? Oh man, lost, hurt, and, and angry. Uh, uh, how would your peers describe what you do? I would say my peers describe what I do as inspirational. piece of life advice would you give me? Young faith. Balance. <laughs> um, tell me about the Food Most Yes, yeah, definitely my, my mother, my father, and my, my best friend. And just being able to witness my, my mom and my dad's struggles through life and their struggle in particular with drugs and alcohol and how they were both able to actually overcome that in many ways and, and change their lives. So I got to see both sides of some of the negative things that come with, with growing up in a family that's full of historical trauma and all of the things that they were going through personally, but also witnessing their, their growth and, and seeing them become healthy adults as well. Uh, and then my best friend, he just, he was just a, a great human being. Uh, he, he was actually murdered in front of me at the age of 14. He, he was shot in his, in his face. And that alone, that, that act impacted me tremendously throughout, it still does throughout my life. He's, he's, He's been gone for almost 30 years. And every day I wake up, I think about him. When I see young relatives like you, the next generation, the young, the young ones out there struggling with gangs and drugs and alcohol and living a certain lifestyle, you know, I think about my best friend often. And, he, and, and that, that, that's how much of an impact he's, he's had on my life and the work that I do now with the youth. Movie. Favorite movie is Big Fish. <laughs> nice. What's your go-to song? 
go-to meal? 100% all day, every day. Tacos. Uh, if I should pray for you, what should I pray for? Balance. Machuxas. Kanye Oase Richie. Kanye Oase Miwu. Hello, my name is Richie Rodrigo, and you're hanging out with Faith on Daybreak Star Radio Network. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you later.